And there's a movement going on to put cameras inside every driver training car in America. When you hear this young woman's story, you will understand the disgusting reason why many feel they're needed. Here's Lisa Guerrero. 76-year-old Francis Lane is a driver's ed instructor in Plymouth, Massachusetts, charged with indecent assault and battery of three teenage girls. You've been accused of some very serious misconduct with young teenage girls. What's your response to what you've been accused of? I have of? nothing to say. Investigators say he rubbed their thighs and touched them inappropriately during private one-on-one -on -one lessons. He pleaded not guilty in court. Despite the allegations, he's still driving around in a car marked student driver. I never thought it could happen to me. In Los Angeles, this victim who asked we not use her name was sexually assaulted by this guy, Tom Lamb, a driver's ed instructor and registered sex offender. And just last week, investigators outside Portland, Oregon, arrested this guy. Hi, Mr. Burdick. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. Paul Douglas Burdick, a driver's ed instructor and bishop with his local church. State of Oregon versus Paul Douglas Burdick. He's accused of groping and fondling more than 20 young girls, which he denies. But detectives say his creepy behavior didn't stop there. He was having these young girls do jumping jacks, and then he would film that on his cell phone. Yes, they would actually stop on the side of the road near traffic out in public, and he'd have these girls do jumping jacks, and a lot of them were pretty mortified that they were being asked to do that. Sir, frankly, these charges are horrific. Don't you owe an explanation to these girls and their families that trusted you? Now there's a movement to install cameras in all driver's ed vehicles, says Bob Gilmer, president of the Driving School Association of the Americas. If you notice there, I have a camera up here, a camera up here. An added layer of protection that can put parents at ease.